anyways so <clears throat> I have my hot dogs going I have some onions that I've already had diced up so we're gonna put them in the cazuela and let's get going in Margaret's kitchen comidas de mi familia tu sangre es tu sangre my authentic New Mexico cookbook so I have my butter and a little bit of oil going and now I'm gonna put in my my uh, hot dogs coronado dogs into my pan to get it frying them up Ooh, oh I love butter you know so I just put a little tiny bit of um, oil in here to mix with the butter so that we can get everything going so it can just fry it up does it look good mm -hmm. and then we'll do the and then we're going to do the onions and then whip up the eggs so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip up the eggs just whipping up these eggs Put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Love pepper. Oh man, if you can hear the Coronado hot dogs sizzling away. So again, comidas de mi familia, tu sangre es tu sangre, my authentic New Mexico cookbook. Remember, you can order my cookbook at www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com. And don't forget, you guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with everybody. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, April 15th is going to be a big deal. It's my dad's birthday in heaven. So you know what? Watch out for that. Watch. Check this out. Look at how good this looks. Woo-hoo. Oh, who, anybody in New Mexico... You know, diehard New Mexicans, we love Coronado hot dogs and stuff. So, love frying them up in a pan and stuff, you know. Um, today's just been a little, you know, just been a productive day. You know, I've been cleaning drawers out, cleaning closets and all that fun stuff. And, you know, it's, I, put, I did a post on my Facebook and I said, because boy, people got some some stories that aren't very true these days, you know, and, and, um, you know, people, some people do a lot of fibbing, and so anyway, so I decided to put a post in my, um, on, on my Facebook today, and I said, it's whole, it's the beginning of Holy Week, let's practice, and so anyways, um, so anyways, I thought that was something, oops, hold on, gotta go back. Okay, sorry, got to see the ceiling for a second. But anyway, so I just said that, you know, we got people need to start practicing being honest, you know, just honest, because boy, people, las mentiras, remember, las mentiras get people in trouble. So let's be honest. But anyway, so like I said, New Mexicans, we love the best. It's Coronado Weenies. Now I'm going to put all my onions in. Hey, this is just a, a fun, fun, you know, snack. And this is our dinner because we are both really productive today. And there's nothing like scrambled eggs and, and stuff. So just fast dinner and just loving it. I, I enjoy just fast dinners. Look at how good this looks. Yum. And I love cebolla. You know, love onions. You know, dice them up. I had them in the in the refrigerator from yesterday so I said you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna just fry the cebolla up with the you know with the Coronado hot dogs and that's what I'm doing and stuff you know but again welcome to Margaret's Kitchen Comidas de mi familia tu sangre es tu sangre my authentic New Mexico cookbook follow me on on YouTube Margaret's Kitchen and and give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel please and you know and you know, and invite your friends. I mean, invite everybody. Subscribe, 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 and stuff. So look at how nice the onions are becoming to be a little, a little translucent, and that's what we want. But I want the, the Coronado dogs to get really tostaditos. You know, real tostaditos. 
so that's what I'm doing. And so, let me see what I look like today. I look terrible. Hello. <laughs> I just look terrible, but it's all good. You know, we're doing good and and stuff. So, welcome to Margaret's Kitchen, Comidas de Mi Familia, Tu Sangre es Tu Sangre. So now, look at this. Look at how nice and tostaditos these are. You know, it's just really, really good. And then we're going to put the, the egg in in just about a second. And like I said, this is just a very, very quick meal. Just something simple for dinner because we're both exhausted today. We've done a lot, you know, and stuff like that. So here's the, the egg. And, you know, and I had all these eggs because we had gotten some fresh chicken eggs from uh, our neighbor, Brandy. Well, actually, my mom's neighbor. And so these were the last of the fresh chicken eggs, and so I wanted to just use them up. So I did. And stuff, so there's nothing like good fresh chicken eggs. Look at that. Looks good, huh? And stuff. So anyways, but so that's what I'm doing, and should come out good. So now, okay, I cleaned that spatula. And now I'm going to put the egg in. Oh, yum. I let it cook down for just a little bit. Look at how good that looks. I love the way the butter is incorporated in there and I love to use butter and stuff and and stuff and I just put a little bit of oil because um, you know I like to mix it together I do like the butter but you know butter does burn so got to be careful so I, that's what I did and stuff so I'm really excited and stuff so looking forward to a good little meal and a, a good simple meal nothing major just a good simple meal look Margaret's kitchen so again, welcome to Margaret's Kitchen, Comidas de Mi Familia, Tu Sangre es Tu Sangre. You know, my authentic New Mexico cookbook. Remember, you can purchase it on my website, www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com. And stuff, look at how good this is. It's looking. Yum. And you know, like I said, just very simple today. I just, you know, just a day that I just didn't want to make a whole lot, but I wanted to... And I, there's nothing like good scrambled eggs anyways. You know, I mean, nothing like good scrambled eggs and stuff. So, ooh, these are cooking good. And I'm using my cazuela because I had it out, and that's what I'm using and stuff. I love my cazuela. I bought it at the Mexican market and um, here in Albuquerque, and they have them, and they're cooking ones. So it's it's nice because these are the cooking ones. So you got to be careful when buying them. you got to make sure that you can cook in them. And that they're lead free, you know. So you don't want to take that chance, okay? So be sure you, you, you know, research it right. And if you're into buying them, get yourself a lead kit. Just to check them if you find them at estate sales or whatever. Carry that lead kit with you. because, And it's not, not much, it's just a little thing. But carry it with you and check these pots. Because if you plan on cooking on them, in them, you want to make sure, like, again, that they're lead free. You know, that's the whole thing. And that's what I did, you know, thanks to my, our cousin, my husband's cousin, Carissa Otero. She's the one that I first started seeing with the cazuelas. And so, you know, and she would use the clay pots. And so I'm just like, wow, I want to. So she's the one who actually told me about them, you know, making sure that they're lead free, you know, if you're going to cook in them. And that's what I, you know, want to make sure to do. So you have to make sure to do that, you know. Just make sure to do that. You don't want to get, you know, get sick. And so anyways, but look at how good these are. Woohoo! Like I said, there's nothing like a good scrambled egg. I think, um, I think the word for it is, um, uh, what's the word for it in Spanish? I can't think of it. Somebody will tell me. And stuff so I guess it's just a quick fun 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 you know um, scrambled egg mixture for us and that's what we're gonna have for dinner that's our dinner and then of course we're gonna have a couple of the empanaditas that I made yesterday the dinner ones with the beans and the papitas and so we'll probably have that in, you know and stuff so let's see 
Okay, check it out. Look. Ooh, ooh, look at how good it's looking. And I like the little crusty. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. So anyways, welcome to Margaret's Kitchen. Thank you everybody that have that have been joining me and have subscribed to my channel. You know, my YouTube channel, Margaret's Kitchen NM. Um, share with everybody, you know, you can find me on Facebook under Margaret's Kitchen as well. So, you know, check it out. And then, um, I love it, you know. Look at how good this looks. And then, like I said, I'm going to warm up the, oops, sorry, had my finger in the way. Sorry about that. You know, and then I'm going to warm up the, you know, the empanaditas from yesterday. That's what I'm going to do. And, uh, let's see what happens. Look at how good they, that looks. So I'm going to turn off my cazuela. And then my, I put my empanaditas in the micro, so let's see how they come out. Warm. See if they come out warm in a second. Look at this. Tell me that doesn't look great. Oh man, look at this. So I'm going to serve some of our plate. My plate. This looks delicious. Delicious. Look how good that looks. Yum. Oh my god, look at this. Doesn't it just look amazing? Yum. And then of course with your my empanadita. We cut it this way. Lots of cheese. I'm doing everything with one hand, you guys. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't it looking wonderful? Oh my god. You taste the egg. Mmm. Let me tell you, this is wonderful. Mm. Mm hmm. Margaret's Kitchen. Looks so good. Mm. So, you guys, thank you again for joining me in Margaret's Kitchen. Comidas de mi familia, tu sangre, su sangre, my authentic New Mexico cookbook. Thank you all again. Look at my website. I look terrible today. I don't even have eyebrows on. It's www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com. And again, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Margaret's Kitchen NM. We'll talk to you soon. Adios. Goodbye. Saludes. <laughs> talk to you later. Bye and happy Holy Week. See you then. Bye.